Good morning and welcome to another brand new week here in the world of crypto. Well, we did just get a big flashing warning from Bitcoin that says that we could very well see some type of correction over the next few weeks, maybe even over the next few days, and you guys absolutely need to be prepared for it. So we're not going to waste any more time today and we're going to get straight into today's video. All right, so today we're going to be focusing on the Bitcoin quad fecto on the chart prime oscillator, which has an over 80% chance of predicting correctly when we're going to see some type of correction. Now, a quad fecto means that there are four moving parts within this entire pattern so let me explain to you what those four moving parts are so what we can see here is again we're on our daily chart prime oscillator and there are four things that when they flash all at once creates a quad factor. the first one being this overbought reading now this can be identified by this yellow box with the ob above it which says that typically speaking we are getting a little bit of a move that is you know losing losing momentum and we're starting to get a little bit overrun to the top side kind of similar to your overbought territory on a rsi in ways now not only is there that of course what we can see here let's get that put back up there boom there we go your overbought reading secondly we have our red reversal triangle these red reversal triangles are indicators that say hey listen we're likely going to get some type of reversal they oftentimes do coordinate and coincide with the overbought readings and it is just another indicator that say hey bullish momentum is slowing down bearish momentum is likely on the way on the way so let's go ahead and call it our red reversal triangle there we go. Let's get that pulled back up there. There we go. Red reversal triangle. Okay. The third thing we need to pay the most amount of attention to is this bearish divergence that is playing out. Bearish divergence can typically be identified whenever your oscillator itself creates, say, a lower high, but your price itself creates a higher high or vice versa. Lower, lo um, lower high, higher high, higher high, lower high, etc. So with that said, what we can see here is a very, very clear drive of bearish divergence has now played out. And on the chart prime oscillator, you can identify that by this red line. These red lines and these blue lines are bearish divergence so of course what we can do come up here boom and we can add bearish divergence to our quad factor. now the final part of the quad factor is this blue peak finder the peak finder is a very very strong tool that tries to identify when macro peaks are in so if it believes that the price is about to you know put in a peak put in a top and start to correct soon that is a very very strong warning sign okay so what we have here is our blue peak finder okay so this is our quad factor your overbought reading your red reversal triangle your bearish divergence and your blue peak finder when all four of these flash within the span of a few weeks all of them say hey we're going to see some type of pullback. We're going to see some type of back test. We're going to see some type of correction. Now, it doesn't necessarily indicate that we're going to see a massive 50% crash to the downside. That's not what it says. But it almost always predicts when we're going to see some type of correction back to the downside. Let me give you examples of when this has happened. Okay. So the last time that we saw the quad factor play out was literally a few months ago. What you can see here is boom, overbought reading plus the red reversal triangle. Of course, your blue peak finder and your bearish divergence. There's your quad factor right there. I was forming right here and the blue peak finder flashed directly at the top. Now, after that happened, we did see a pullback towards the downside of 25% as we came back to retest $19.6,000. Let's go back a little bit further. Boom, right here. This is the last time before that that we saw the quad factor. As you can see here, overbought reading flashed here. Peak finder flashed right here. Bearish divergence played out right here. Quad factor was complete right here. And as soon as this quad factor was complete, what happened? Boom. Pull back to the downside of 38%. Let's go back. I'm telling you, it's not something that is just random, guys. This thing is accurate, okay? Overbought territory, overbought reading. Boom. Right here. Flashed a little early. But we did not see the quad factor complete until when? Right here. Boom. What happened? Red reversal triangle. Blue peak finder. Bearish divergence. What happened from there? That was the top of the bull market, okay? Let's go back. Boom. Right here. What happened? As we can see, when was the quad factor complete? The quad factor was complete right here. This is the one instance where I found it was a little bit early. But even still, if you would have been purchasing when this quad factor was flashing, you still would have missed out on a better buying opportunity. But as you can see here, boom, overbought reading started to flash. Boom. Then we push back up here to the blue peak finder. There we go. Red reversal triangle. Bearish divergence played out. Bearish divergence played out up until this point. From that point forward, even though we did get a little bit more of a move to the upside there, we still did get that further correction back to the downside of up to 20 percent okay so i don't have to keep going back in time if you want to look you can go look this is something that continuously happens over and over again and the quad factor just complete itself literally just now again as we can see here overbought red triangle blue peak finder bullet uh, bearish divergence as we are starting to go range bound right below this thirty thousand dollar level so what does this mean what does this mean is this something that we should be curious about is this something that should we be worried about absolutely 
absolutely. You absolutely should be moving cautious right now while this thing did just play out because there's an incredibly strong likelihood that we get a pullback. Now, am I saying that it happens right now? No. Actually, I do believe that we are actually still opening up the doors for a push back up to $32,000 to liquidate some of the short trades that are building up right here. There's a, there's a strong level of liquidity for short trades below that $27,500 level. And I do believe there's a very strong possibility we do break up towards $32,000 before we do actually start to look to correct back to the downside. I think that there is still a chance that that happens. Now, that's no guarantee. That's literally just a guess. And when I say a guess, I mean, just a guess, but I do believe that that is well within the realm of possibility, but I am 100% convinced that we are going to see some type of pullback towards the downside. Let me show you an example of what that could look like and how it played out very, very, very similarly to what we are seeing right now. And that's going back to the beginning of the bull market in August to September of 2020. So right here. So what we can see happen, boom. The price of Bitcoin finally started to make a move to the top side. We finally broke this massive level of resistance that we had been stuck with, you know, stuck under for a minute, right? I mean, you look, resistance, resistance, resistance. But then we finally broke it. Guys, this is $25,000. Just imagine, right? This is $10,000 in this example, but, it, you know, kind of um, put this in juxtaposition with $25,000 right now, right? We couldn't get above it. We couldn't get above it. We couldn't get above it. Boom, we finally break above it. Now, as we get above it, we start to go sideways, 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 not doing too much. As we're starting to go sideways, we get overbought indicator, red reversal triangle, blue peak finder, bearish divergence, all of those things say, hey, quad effect is complete. We're probably going to pull back. What happened from that point forward? This pullback sitting from this little peak right here all the way down about 17% to back test that strong level of resistance, finally established it as support, and then we kicked off into the bull market. I believe we could be in position to see something incredibly similar. I believe we could be in position to see something incredibly similar, which could look like Bitcoin doing something like this. Look how similar, right? Look at this. Resistance there. Resistance there resistance there but then we finally broke it but as we broke it we go sideways then the quad fecta completes who's to say that a back test towards twenty five thousand doesn't happen before looking to build some support back up towards the upside that is well within the realm of possibility or another push back up to liquidate some of these short trades that are here and then the pullback back to 25 and then the continuation now i don't believe actually that we're going to hit twenty five thousand dollars i'm actually under the belief that 25 if we hit it we're probably going to go below it you see oftentimes whenever we're at these point in the markets where everyone is saying one thing is going to happen it's going to hit 25 it's going to hit 25 it's going to hit 25 it either gets front run or we break it it usually doesn't bounce at it right so in this example i would say you know 25.5 maybe 25.75 somewhere around that level would very well act as support and we would wick straight down to it and then we would immediately start to continue upwards if that was the case since 25 ish thousand was going to hold we're just going to barely bounce off of it but if we actually start to go down to 25,000, get daily close around that level we're probably going to go a little lower maybe 24.5 maybe even 24 thousand dollars before looking to build some support and continue to the top side okay so what i want you to be prepared for is prepared for is the understanding that we are in a very very strong position to see some type of correction whether it happens now or whether it happens after the next pump understand it is very likely on the way so you need to start preparing for that you need to start getting exit strategies in for your long trades that you opened up maybe around 22,000, 23,000. You need to start getting prepared to take some profits off the table. Or if you're on the flip side and you're long term like me, you need to be prepared to accumulate. You need to get some cash ready because it's going to happen fast. You need to get those limit orders ready. You need to start making sure that you are in position to, uh, you know, take advantage of what could be one of the final bounces back towards some of these lower levels for another few months. Okay. Now, if you want to track even the shorter time frames on those quad factors, those trifectas and everything else that plays out here on the chart prime oscillators, make sure that you do click the link in the description you can get access for 30 percent off to all of their best signals i use them for all of my trading at this point i don't believe i need to use any other indicators in the chart prime indicators because you've seen in this video alone how accurate they can be but with that said that's it for today's video make sure that you are as prepared as possible and i will see you later with some more crypto analysis peace out everybody